Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I'm super excited for this video because I know a lot of you guys have requested it. You guys have been DMing me, commenting and I honestly didn't know that the last get ready with me you guys would like. It was like super fancy. I think I got ready for like a wedding and you guys really liked it. So I'm going to be doing another one. So before we get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to Shein for sponsoring this video. I love all their stuff. Super affordable, definitely exciting accessible and I just love all their stuff that I picked out and I'm really excited to show you guys some of the things that I love like you guys know I'm a fashion girl I love dressing up I love just coordinating outfits and having fun with my outfits so I will be linking all the products that I'm gonna be showing you guys down below in the description box so make sure to go check that out and also guys I do have a 15% off discount code so it's included in all US sites and it's my Carla so don't forget I will be putting that code after I'm done so you guys don't miss out on that discount guys it's summertime and it's getting really warm here in LA it's actually 80 degrees so it's like super warm it's festival season everyone's just like trying to be outside because thankfully like we're slowly trying to get back into the realm of things and I can finally go outside and show my outfits it was so hard during COVID Shein did just launch their new festival season outfits and pieces that they have out right now so make sure to go check that out very electronic styles that i think are really really cool with all the neons and like super colorful very different pieces one of the things that i really like about shein is that they offer a free return within 45 days of ordering and they also offer free standard shipping with any order over 49 dollars so i will be actually trying on the outfits and then i'm gonna decide what outfit i'm gonna pick or choose that i'm gonna wear today and then i'm gonna go off base of that outfit to like do my hair and makeup so yeah i'm gonna like have to make a decision on what i'm gonna actually wear today okay so first outfit is this cute little dress and i feel like you can definitely wear it like with some like combat boots this is a really cute option i really like it it's very cute that's how it looks from the back. Second fit. Oh my god. This is like a very showstopper type of dress. I love it. So cute. I feel like this is also giving me like very summer vibes. Miami nights or something like that. That's what it's giving and I really really like it. So cute. I don't know. I love this green. Okay. So this is the next outfit. Now I know it's like super simple. If we're thinking like festival season. I would literally like pair it with like cowboy boots. Like a cowboy hat type of vibe. And like accessorize around it. It's really cute i love the back it's like i love it it's like a nice little back next outfit oh my god this is so cute okay obviously this is a bikini top but who doesn't wear bikini tops as tops nowadays and i love these like little skirt it has like these little charms and they're so cute this is such a vibe i really like it this outfit it's very sexy these little charms are so cute this is actually a bikini like top and bottom underneath but this actually comes with a different set it comes with this one but i feel like this is like a really cute vibe too because it's silver and then this is the top this is another option you can also wear which is so pretty as well i love them both this is like this really cute little maxi dress it's like such a pretty blue and it has this really cute cutout I don't know i really like it i know it's simple but i feel like it's definitely like a really pretty statement type of like dress okay so this is the next outfit i love it it's like this cute little crochet little moment and then this like new little skirt obviously you can pair it with like any type of bottoms but i'm obsessed and this little skirt actually i feel like it goes with like a lot of stuff next outfit I feel like Marilyn Monroe. It's so cute. It's actually a romper. I thought it was a dress at first, but it's so cute. It's like very like flexible. So if you're like just like running around or I love how like delicate and cute it looks. Okay, me getting married in this. <laughs> so cute. So next outfit, how freaking cute is this it's like a little y2k moment. This cute little crochet top I really like. Okay. This is so freaking cute. So I wanted to show you guys this top with the skirt. But look how freaking cute this corset is. I actually have this in black from Shein and I love it. Just like put on a corset with anything and honestly, I feel like it elevates your look. I love it. Look, this is the back. Ah. Next look, this is definitely festival season type of vibes. And I love this a little cover up. 
it's so cute i actually feel like i would pick like a black bathing suit or like a black bikini top and bottom i just feel like it would complement the outfit even more because they have these little diamonds so they will like pop more other than that i love it i love this actually separately as a bathing suit would be really really cute it's just like a really cute like silver chrome little one piece it's so cute so this is like so cute these with like little combat boots or something like that or even just like some like tall like boots would be really cute and like the right accessories will look really really cute but I love it. It's very cute. It's actually really, really comfortable. Okay, so now that I've tried on all the outfits, make sure to use my code MYCARLA for an additional 15% off. Honestly, guys, I loved all the pieces that I showed you guys. And yeah, I'm going to get ready now because I need to hurry up to get ready for my day. And I will show you guys the outfit that I actually wear for today. So on Instagram, I actually asked you guys to ask me a couple questions just about like my engagement. Obviously, I've been screaming it from the top of my lungs like all the time i show my ring all the time i don't care i'm just really happy that i'm engaged i kind of knew it was gonna happen like the first time i ever met him like i'm like yeah this is the man i'm gonna marry so that was already like not a doubt in my mind uh, i'm gonna answer a couple questions that you guys asked me a little girl chit chat i'm just gonna start getting ready because i really need to freaking hurry up i literally have like an hour i do have this like big old pimple on the side of my nose and it's making my nose look so wide like it's really look how oh my god so hopefully this makeup will help me out because i'm the type of person that like i won't get like like a bunch of breakouts all at once no i'll just get that big one that will just take over my entire face we're just gonna try to cover that up because yeah that's not not very cute it's not the vibes that we're going for today first i'm just gonna put on my foundation and i'm gonna be using this nars one and this is the soft matte complete foundation and this is the makeup forever hd skin now i would use this by itself but this one's just so dark so i kind of have to mix these two but i am gonna go back to get the lighter version of this to like just wear this one because it's such a good foundation primer and this is the makeup forever hangover one i want to do like a simple type of makeup i say this every time but i always end up like doing the most but it's okay okay i'm gonna have to take off my ring for this because my ring is gonna get all dirty if i don't so what is your biggest piece of advice for a long lasting relationship like what's the key i don't have all the keys obviously communication that's like one of the biggest 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 things you need in a relationship like communication being able to talk to your partner about anything and everything that'll determine like obviously if you're having good conversations and you're getting to a resolution regardless of what you're communicating to your partner like i feel like that's really important to me cayman's like my best friend he's like someone i can count on i can talk to i can vent to i can just express my feelings to him not just in a romantic level but also like in just things that just as a girl like you go through and He's like, he tries to obviously understand me because I'm a girl and he's a guy. So it's like a little bit different, but he tries his best to like make me feel like it's okay. And I don't know, that's just one of the things that like I really love about our um, relationship and being able to know that we're on the same page all the time. That's why communication is such, such a big um, thing. So if you can't really communicate with your partner, probably something you should work on. When will the wedding be? I've been getting asked this question a lot because obviously as soon as you, this is before the engagement. Oh, when are you going to get engaged? When are you going to get engaged? Now it's when is the wedding? You know what? I think me and Cameron just, we want to enjoy our engagement obviously and just keep doing what we're doing this year and then we'll see obviously i want my dream wedding so i want to plan it out it's probably gonna take a little bit but i don't want it to be like forever either you know what i mean we'll figure it out and you guys will definitely be a part of it in one way or another i'm just really really happy now my foundation's on i need to put on concealer i'm gonna use the nars mac Damien one so the question was how has your relationship changed since the engagement it hasn't dramatically changed if anything it just like made us like super happy and just it doesn't change anything how did you know he was the one obviously when you first date someone you don't really know they're the one like you just what 
Why'd you come in here like that? I'm checking though, you what's up? Nothing. What's up with the gang? Y'all know who y'all really want to see right now. <laughs> Why do you look like that? Why is your shirt I'm just in, like, Don't worry about me. Good luck. Like I said, I feel like I didn't know, obviously, the second I met him or something like that. Like I didn't know where the relationship even was going because obviously we're, we were like long distance. I didn't really know what was gonna happen. I was just kind of taking it day by day, like whatever would happen. But obviously we just grew a really strong connection from the beginning. I don't know, it was really weird because the first time he came to visit me, I just was bawling, crying, like I've known this man forever. I met him one time. Well, obviously we've been talking, we had been talking for a while, but I felt like so like sad. Like I couldn't, I just couldn't like deal with the fact that he was not gonna be with me. And we would have been together for like, I think we were together for like seven days straight or seven days straight, like just with each other nonstop. And I just like, when he left, I was just like, oh my god, what is wrong with me? Like, But I felt like the more and more I would see him, the more I would talk to him. I felt like we both knew like our connection was growing faster and faster. And it was crazy to like probably the both of us because neither of us expected it. All of a sudden, I was like, oh yeah, like he is the man of my dreams. Like he is perfect. He just checks off every box. And I don't know, like ever since that, I'm like, yeah, this is the person I'm probably gonna marry. Okay, so this is actually the Rare Beauty contour stick for anyone asking. I'm trying to do this kind of fast because I kind of have to hurry up. So the next question is, did you know or did you suspect anything at all? I actually didn't. For each year, like we go to a place that we want to visit. He was like, I want to go to Bora Bora. And I was like, oh shoot. Like originally we were talking about going to Greece. It just didn't happen. So I was like, okay, then Bora Bora it is. Obviously it was for his birthday. I didn't expect anything. I was like, oh, this is all for his birthday. Even like the dinner that like you guys saw on the proposal, like that was technically his birthday dinner but his birthday was the day before he like said like oh we don't have to do it on my birthday like we can do something fun for my birthday that we can have a, a dinner for my birthday you know like when you go on a birthday trip the whole trip is for you you know like it's not really like the day of is only for your birthday but you know i was like okay that's fine like like whatever you want to do like I'm, I'm with whatever you want to do i went with the flow the whole day everything was pretty normal i mean we went like swimming with the sharks we went snorkeling like we had such an amazing, like just fun day. And then, you know, we were gonna have our dinner. Like that's, we were having dinner every night. This was gonna be like a little bit more fancier, but the person came in to like play the ukulele and stuff like that. I was like, oh, this is, this is cute. Like I didn't know this is gonna be a part of like the whole thing. Like I was like, okay, this is, this is really cute. It was just like chilling. I was just like recording the ambiance. I was like, this is so cute. This is going to be such a cute little story for my Instagram. And mind you, we don't have service like all the time. So I wasn't even able to post it. Thankfully, once I was like sitting on the couch, which I don't know, you can kind of tell, like I was just sitting on the couch, just kind of like waiting. We were actually waiting for the food to get there. Oh no, I was recording. He's like, can you put your phone down? And I was like, most of the time I would not listen. And I would be like, why? But I did listen and he was very surprised. He said like to me after he's like, I was very surprised you actually put your phone down because you never like to listen. He basically was like, close your eyes. And in that moment, I was just like, kind of like lost. Like I was like, like what? Like, what are you talking about? Like I was just so confused. In my head, I'm like, okay, what the freak is happening right now? I was freaking out in the inside. I was like, okay. He's like, tell me, move here, move there. I'm like, oh my freaking God. Is this like happening? Like in my head, I was like, is this really happening? Or like, I'm gonna feel so stupid if it if it doesn't happen. And I'm just like, is this happening? Am I getting engaged to? In my head, thankfully I didn't say it out loud. Once I opened my eyes, he was like, already down on one knee and I like, couldn't do anything but just like sit there and cry because I was just like so in shock. I'm getting emotional about it because I just was like, like I couldn't find the words to even say anything because I was just like so emotional and happy at the same time. It was just, I don't know, it was just like a dream come true. It was like, 
so dreamy. Everything was perfect. Everything was perfect. Didn't really su suspect anything, like I said, because everything was technically for his birthday. And I told him like, oh, I was like so shocked that you wanted to go to Bora Bora for your birthday. But like, that's just like the place you wanted to go to. He's like, girl, I don't care. Like, this is for you. <laughs> like, I already knew like this was going to be for you. And I was like, the fact that you made your birthday about me, well, us at the end, I was like, that's just so cute. One thing about me, I take forever on my base. Probably not the best because I need to freaking hurry up. I love a really bright eye, so that's why I always layer my concealer. The colors I used were custard and macadamia. Okay, next. I need to put on some of the blush. This is the Rare Beauty one. This is the Grace one. I was originally looking for the Happy one. Didn't, didn't get it. It sold out like everywhere. So we'll see when, once I get it. But this one's like really pretty as well. So cute. Look how bright that is. It's so pretty. And then the contour stick was also Rare Beauty. Now we're done with that. We're going to do eyebrows. I'm going to use the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. We're just going to do a fill-in brow. So the next question is, what was my mom's reaction? Came in actually asked my mom and my brother before anything like before he proposed i mean obviously i wasn't there so i don't know what her initial reaction was like the first time but he and my brother told me afterwards like as soon as like my mom saw the ring like she started crying and i was like oh that's so cute you know once i called her and i told her well like obviously i wanted to show her she's like I knew, I knew, like, and she just started crying. I was like, girl, why are you making me cry right now? I cried like a hundred times already. You know, she was just so happy for me and she was just so excited for the both of us. But yeah, she was so happy and she always asked me like, oh my God, like, we need to plan the wedding. Like, you know, um, just like, she just gets so excited about it. And I'm actually using the Tarte concealer to conceal my brows now brows are done so people are asking what type of diamond is it it's a little dirty right now but this is actually an emerald cut now i've always like told him like what kind of cut i've been wanting like since forever like i always would like send him little videos or like just pictures i would see on the internet i would just like send it to him like you know just just in case for the longest, I would always send him the emerald cut. I'm like, I'm obsessed with an emerald cut. I just think it's so clean, so classic. In my head, I'm like, it matches with all my outfits. Yeah, I've always loved an emerald cut. So, so, so pretty to me. And it, honestly, he like nailed my like ring. Wow, like you you really did that. You really did that. Do you plan on pre-gaming before your wedding? Honestly, probably not because I want to be on my A-game. Best believe once all the grown, grown adults leave and it's just like me and my friends, oh yeah, like we are going hard. Obviously I want to remember, so I'm not going to go that hard. We're going to have so much fun on our wedding. I want my wedding to be fun. Like I want everyone to just kind of like enjoy themselves. Press some powder into my under eye and I'm using like the one size powder. Yeah, this is such a good powder. This is the Turn Up the Base, and I'm using the color Light 3, but I low-key for my under eyes, I feel like I need even lighter. But when I'm tan, it was like perfect. Now that I'm losing my tan, I'm like, okay. I looking to go a little bit lighter. Right now, I'm just baking, and this is, I'm using actually the Kim Chi Puff Puff Pass powder. I saw that on TikTok, it was like doing, like it's really good, so I wanted to try it on for myself. And I tried it a couple times, and it's so good. I love it so much. What makeup foundation did I have on that day? And it was actually um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk that I had on and I had like tons of primer because it's like super humid in Bora Bora so I had on a lot of primer and a lot of setting spray. I feel like it still kind of came off. I mean obviously I cried. It didn't come off that much because I cried a lot so I'm like I'm surprised like my whole face isn't just like off. Thankfully it wasn't too too bad because maybe the primer saved it. 
Who knows? The question is, are we planning on having an intimate wedding or a big wedding? We actually really just want a super intimate wedding with just like our closest friends and family that mean the world to us and that's it. We want zero bad vibes. What are you most excited about next? Well, obviously the wedding, like I'm really excited for the wedding. Like I've already been like planning my mood board. I'm already like planning on what kind of wedding I want, what kind of flowers I want, what kind of dress I want, what kind of hairstyle I want, what kind of glam I want, the vibes, everything I've been thinking about since he proposed. As a like a little girl, I've always like dreamed of having like a wedding and now it's really happening. Obviously the next thing I'm really, really excited about besides the wedding is having children i'm so excited to have kids okay so the next question is how did i feel about my engagement i didn't grow up with like a father figure so i wanted to make sure that the partner that i picked was the right one and i mean i always knew cayman was the one for me like that that without a doubt everything that he does like obviously you guys don't <laughs> know him personally but everything he does for me, for my family, I couldn't ask for like a better partner in life. So I wanted to make sure that like the partner that I picked was gonna be perfect. And I think like in a way people were like, well, what, why weren't you engaged before? Like what, what took you so long or whatever? When we first met, we were young. Like we didn't know what marriage was. We didn't know what a real partnership was. I didn't grow up with a father figure. So I never saw that in my household. So I didn't know how things were supposed to function or how things were supposed to be. Now I'm learning like what things are supposed to be. I mean, there's still a lot to learn. Our mindsets have really changed since we like first met and got together. So there's a certain point of like our relationship that I knew I was like, okay, he's the one and he is the person that I want to get married with. And I expressed that to him. So look at me now. The question was, did I get my ring resized? And yes, I did. I actually got it resized twice. The way he got my size was he came into my jewelry box in here and he picked out just a random ring that he thought that was probably going to be my size. And no, it was like my middle finger, like one of my bands. I actually put it in a safe like spot because I thought it was so cute that I wanted to save that ring that he took to get my size. I kept it in a little box. But yeah, he actually did just grab like a random ring and it was a size, I believe seven. It was so big when he put it on my ring, like he put it on my ring finger. It was like pretty big, but I really didn't care at the moment. I thought about it afterwards. I was like, I can't wear this like on vacation. Like it's gonna fall somewhere. I, like I'm scared, like I'm not gonna wear it. So I didn't wear it for a while. I wore it once I got back only for certain things. Literally the day we arrived, our jeweler came and like he took my measurements. He brought it back and I had it on for like a couple days and and it would just like kind of like slide a little bit just move around too much for me and i was like okay this isn't good because i'm really rough with my hands i'm scared that it's gonna just like fall into the drain or something one of these days like when i'm washing my hands or something because it would like slip a little bit he came back and we finally got the perfect measurement and it's actually a size of four it's super tiny actually like we went down to a four so it went from a seven to a four and at some point the drawer was like, well, the shape might change on the ring. I was like, no, I don't want to, I don't want it to change. Like, can you do something else? And luckily he was able to do everything without changing the shape of anything. So, so happy about that. Now I'm gonna do like a simple eye because I'm running out of time. Okay, I'm just gonna use bronzer as my eyeshadow. It's just like a super bronzy brown just to have something on my eyelid. First, I wasn't gonna do any eyeshadow at all, but I was like, no. Once you see your naked like eye, you're like, no, I need something. So for a lot of the people that were like, oh, how did you guys coordinate so well for the engagement? My little brother, Louis, he actually plans out all my outfits. He helps me out. He helps me out every single trip that I go on. He just comes over, helps me pack my bags. Like that's just something I love to do. So he'll just like come and like do it and just help me out. He knew that Kayla was gonna propose and he was like, oh, like for his birthday, you should like have like a really cute outfit. Like I'm thinking about like maybe like a very pristine angelic like 
on the beach you're gonna be on the beach probably like if you have like one of those dinners on the beach which we always do have dinners on the beach when we do go places like you should have an all white outfit and i was like oh that would be really cute and he's like yeah like you have this rick owens outfit that i think is really cute like originally i was like wanted to wear this yellow dress because i was like don't you think this yellow dress would be really cute and he was like yeah that's cute too like he didn't really say anything he didn't really argue with me and I was like, yeah, like, don't you think this yellow dress would be really cute as well? And he's like, yeah, like, that's cute. Um, but, you know, like, maybe the white one would be, like, not so, like, obnoxious, like, in your face type of vibe. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. And he was like, and plus, it's super humid over there and you're trying to do, like, a very sleek, like, straight hair over there. It's not going to work. So he's like, if you do the white outfit, you can do, like, a wet type of look, like, more mermaid-y type. And I was like... Okay, so the hair sold me. Little did I know that he had already planned or talked to Cayman about what he should wear prior to the engagement, what he should wear. And I remember Cayman just like bringing it up to me like, oh yeah, like I kind of want to wear like something like beachy vibes or something like some some sets because he's like, I don't have any sets to like wear out there like that are nice for dinner. And he showed it to me. He's like, what do you think? This is already stuff that Lewis had already sent him. And I was like, oh yeah, that's cute. Like that's really nice. This is before me planning my outfit. I didn't know. I didn't really put two and two together, but then I was like, oh yeah, for like, maybe like when we can coordinate, cause me came in and tried to coordinate from time to time. And obviously I went with the white outfit and I'm glad I did because it actually ended up being really, really cute. Okay, so I just did like a really small liner and I put bronzer, just one swipe. I didn't do anything else, but I did use this Mario Brown Master Pigment Pro Pencil, the perfect brown eye pencil. And this is the Kat Von D 70 brush. Perfect. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And we're just gonna put some mascara on by Charlotte Tilbury. These are some lashes that I just, they're just like random lashes that I put together. So I don't know, actually know what, what they're actually called. Okay, was it everything baby Carla Jane of growing up? Yes, oh my God, 100,000% actually. It's so weird, I even told this to my mom. I'm like, I never thought in my life it would ever happen. Like it's weird to say, but for some reason I never was like, oh, this is gonna happen to me. Like it, I just never thought that it would happen to me like that, especially like that. It was just such a, like a dream come true. That's why I think I was just so in shock. How did I deserve this? Like, like this is like crazy to me and I don't know. Did you guys go ring shopping slash hunting in person together? No, we never actually went ring hunting or shopping if we would have i feel like it, i would have su suspected it to come like i would have like known something was coming really glad he did it because it really caught me off guard and that's what i've always wanted i just want it to just catch me off guard completely like i want to have like no clue does it make you nervous to commit to him forever no not one bit actually like i'm so so happy that it's him like i couldn't imagine anybody else to like spend the rest of my life with i couldn't really ask for anything more and no i'm not scared to commit at all i always give my 110 percent to the people that like are loyal to me and that are there for me this includes like friendships and family like i'm a very like loyal person so if you give me your all i'm gonna give you more like if anything i'm really really excited for our next chapter together lashes on okay so that means like we're almost halfway actually more than half way done Cayman's coming i already know he's gonna be like are you done so I always contour my nose with this Dior bronzer is the best. Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder in 4N. And I use this for like my nose contour. We need it because I told you guys about that big old bump on my nose. On the side of my nose at that. One thing I can advise on, especially getting engaged, is just wait. 
don't feel peer pressured and i feel like some people thought that we probably got peer pressured into it and that's not the truth because we've been peer pressured probably our whole five years that we've been together so that was definitely not the reason why i think it was like the perfect time and regardless of the fact it was five years and I think it was like the perfect time because it gave us time to like get to know each other. It was just like the perfect timing for me and him. So my camera died and I didn't get to film my lip combo, but I am using cork and I'm using the 1.5 KKW nude. Very simple. And then I just blend those. Just patting down my powder. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna just, we're gonna bathe in it. It really works. With my hair, it's gonna have to be one of those like simple bun days. Just like a sleek bun. So I'm picking between these two outfits, this like skirt. I really showed you guys with this like corset or this little romper. I'm gonna try on the romper, let's see. So this is the romper, but I might wear these like little business like type of shoes, I don't know, we'll see. So this is the outfit that I picked. It was this cute little romper. I really need to hurry up, but I'm gonna show you guys. I actually put like this cute little necklace, some hoops and some glasses and these like shoes, a little backpack. Okay. Gotta go. So, final thoughts. Do you like my outfit for the day? I always like your outfits. But yes, I like this outfit. It's Look like, like giving like, wedding vibes? I mean, you wouldn't be in a skirt. Like, obviously maybe not the... <laughs> maybe you're dancing at the reception yeah, or something. Or you're something dancing. Like that. <laughs> We're gonna go on a little date. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. So, thank you guys for watching. And see you guys next time.